Hey everyone, welcome to today's reading. I'm shuffling the cards and tuning into the energies surrounding us. The first card that pops up is the Healer of the Ages, and it's in the upright position. This card has a strong masculine vibe. As I prepared for this reading, I felt it was particularly aimed at a group of divine feminines. So if you're resonating with this energy, you're likely connecting with your divine feminine side. Remember, we all have a blend of these energies within us. I took a moment to pause because I sensed some intriguing energies coming through. Right away, the Healer of the Ages card suggests a masculine energy going through a significant spiritual awakening. This awakening seems to be causing some upheaval in their life, which is reflected in the Storm Warning card, also upright. So, what kind of upheaval is this masculine experiencing? Ah, the next card is the Yin Yang, which is my top card for Twin Flames. This indicates we're looking at a powerful spiritual connection here. I'll probably include Gitterchurchi, Twin Flame, in the title of this video since this card came up so early in the reading. But don't worry, this message can resonate with you even if you don't see yourself on a Twin Flame journey. The fact that this card is upright indicates that the energies are coming into alignment beautifully. I sense that this masculine may be experiencing a profound recognition of their twin flame, their divine feminine counterpart. If you identify as the divine feminine listening, this could very well be you. There's a masculine twin flame here who seems to be becoming aware of your connection on a deep and conscious level. I'm picking up on something related to a message, a note, email, or text. This particular masculine might typically communicate with you through written messages. They could have recently reached out, or if they haven't, I feel they might be messaging you soon. I feel that this sense of recognition is closely linked to the current astrological events we're experiencing. The cosmos has a way of influencing our emotional landscapes and relationships. And right now, the intense astrological transits are particularly impactful. I'm considering creating a separate video to delve deeper into these transits and how they could shape your romantic connections. Many of you seem to be navigating deeply emotional ties and understanding these cosmic energies might provide clarity and insight. For some of you, this reading could pertain to someone you haven't even met yet, but you can still feel a strong pull towards them. This connection feels like a powerful twin flame or intense soul bond, suggesting that the universe is orchestrating a meeting that could change your life. It's fascinating how these connections often transcend physical boundaries, creating a sense of intimacy even before you've had the chance to meet. I'm picking up on messages that indicate this person has been on their own healing journey. The masculine energy appears to have gone through a significant phase of loneliness, a time when they've been introspective and focused on healing past wounds and behavioral patterns that may have held them back in previous relationships. If you've noticed some distance or a lack of communication from them, it's possible they've been on this transformative path and may soon be ready to re-enter your life. Their healing journey seems to have opened their eyes to the spiritual significance of the connection you share, allowing them to appreciate its uniqueness on a deeper level. For those of you who haven't met this individual yet, the signs suggest that this masculine has dedicated a considerable amount of time to self-reflection and growth. They may have felt isolated from meaningful romantic relationships with other women, as if no one else could truly understand or connect with them the way you do. Regardless of whether you've established contact with them, there's a sense that you've always occupied a special place in their heart. This individual healing process has been a crucial part of their journey. Interestingly, we drew the door to personal healing and happiness card in reverse alongside the goddess of the moon from the energy oracle, which represents the divine feminine. 
This duality points to a shared experience of loneliness and healing and solitude that resonates between the two of you. I sense that both of you have been navigating your own paths, perhaps feeling blocked in love or socially disconnected, but this time a part has been necessary for you both to regain your balance and sense of self. In our current reading, the Magician and the Mirror card has once again emerged upright, and this is quite significant. This card is often seen as a strong indicator of twin flame connections, ranking as my second favorite for this purpose within the deck. Out of the six cards I've drawn so far, it's remarkable that one-third of them are directly related to twin flames, and all of these cards are upright. This powerful alignment suggests that we are witnessing a transformative moment in the lives of those connected to these energies. Now let's shift our focus to the contract card, which appears reversed. This card brings forth some intriguing insights about the dynamics at play. The intensity of the bond between you and your twin flame is coming through very strongly. I've sensed this profound connection before, but it seems to be amplifying now. Your relationship feels like a raging fire full of passion, energy, and undeniable force. This imagery might indicate that one of you has a fire sign in your astrological chart, or it could simply reflect the fiery nature of your connection. Most importantly, this bond symbolizes a flame that has the power to overcome any obstacles in its path, whether those challenges come from personal struggles or external relationships. Interestingly, on a higher self level, both of you might be feeling a sense of blockage when it comes to moving forward in your love lives without each other. This sense of being stuck doesn't mean you're powerless. I want to emphasize that this message should not be interpreted in a way that disempowers you. It's crucial to approach these insights with, a, with an empowering uh, its mindset. Not every message will resonate with everyone, and that's perfectly okay. However, for those of you who feel a connection to this reading, I trust you'll understand exactly what I mean. This is not about making you feel helpless. Rather, it's about affirming the intuition you've already been experiencing. The feelings and thoughts you've had regarding your twin flame connection are valid and real. You may have sensed that there's something more to your bond, a deeper purpose that transcends the ordinary. The journey of twin flames is often filled with challenges, but it is also marked by profound growth and awakening. The struggles you face together or apart are part of a larger tapestry that helps you both evolve. It's essential to recognize that these experiences can lead to a stronger connection, not just with each other, but also within yourselves. Let's explore this deep connection that many of you may recognize as a twin flame bond, an incredibly powerful and divine connection. This type of relationship often involves mirroring each other's energies, which can lead to a feeling of being stuck. You might find that despite your best efforts, moving forward feels challenging. It's as if you're caught in a loop, unable to fully let go of one another due to the sheer intensity of your bond. This connection often makes it hard to focus on other potential relationships. You might find that even when you try to meet new people or explore other connections, the presence of your twin flame is always there, subtly influencing your feelings and thoughts. Over time, this can hinder the development of other meaningful relationships. While this experience may not apply to everyone, for those who resonate with it, it's likely a consistent theme in your life. This situation can lead to feelings of frustration. It's as if your higher selves are in sync, working together to guide you both toward a higher vibrational path. But this alignment also prevents you from fully embracing any other romantic opportunities. You might sense that your spirits are pushing you toward something greater, yet at the same time, you feel tethered to one another. This dynamic can make it seem like you're holding each other back from engaging with anyone or anything that might lead to a more typical 
or satisfying experience. Your souls seem to have a deep understanding that you deserve more than what you might be settling for in the present. This desire for something greater can sometimes manifest as frustration in your day-to-day life. The human part of you, influenced by the ego, seeks stability and certainty. You want to know how your future will unfold, which can make it difficult to accept the current state of uncertainty in your life. However, your higher selves are encouraging you to embrace that very uncertainty. They are guiding you to avoid getting caught up in connections that feel like mere settlements. Instead, they invite you to remain open and flexible, welcoming the unknown. This mindset will allow you to flow more freely toward the higher vibrational path that you're destined to follow. By letting go of the need for immediate answers or security, you create space for growth and exploration. It's about trusting that the journey you're on is leading you somewhere significant, even if the path isn't clear right now. As you navigate these feelings, remember that this connection is a part of your journey, helping you both to evolve and fulfill your true potential. I'm also hearing that your higher selves might keep you in a space that feels stagnant at times, as it's essential for you to connect with that elevated timeline. You're not meant to make choices from a lower vibrational perspective. Just to clarify, even though your higher selves are working together to lift you to a higher frequency, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to enter into a traditional romantic relationship once you get there. For some of you, that might be part of your soul's intentions, but for others, it could be different. If a romantic relationship doesn't feel right for you, it may simply be that you both share a deep soul contract to help each other rise above mediocrity and lower energies. You're encouraged to continue becoming the best version of yourselves, regardless of whether that involves being in a relationship together or not. Sometimes it might feel like that person's higher self is blocking your ability to settle. I keep receiving this message repeatedly. Another important point is that the energy is very reflective. As the divine feminine, if you've been feeling this way, know that the masculine is likely experiencing something similar. Now we have the garden and the gate card upright, which suggests that there are important messages about you, divine feminine, particularly regarding setting boundaries or protecting your energy. I'll be pulling some cards from the Moonology deck now. The first message for you, divine feminine, is about finding balance between spirituality and practicality. At the bottom of the deck, we see it's time to release negativity. This card indicates that there are some hidden aspects at play, likely occurring in your subconscious. We also have look at the bigger picture and a new romantic cycle begins. This last card is aligned with your third Aoikai, where your intuition resides. I'm picking up a wealth of insights from the cards, so let's take some time to really unpack what they're conveying. The card, a new romantic cycle begins particularly as it aligns with the energy of Libra, suggests that one of you might have Libra traits in your astrological chart. More significantly, this card points to a restoration of balance in your life and relationships. As the divine feminine, you've been actively harmonizing your inner divine masculine and feminine energies. This balancing act isn't just about your relationships with others. It's also about how you relate to yourself. My guides are showing me that the more you cultivate this internal equilibrium, the stronger your energetic foundation becomes. You're creating a solid base from which your heart's desires can manifest. Right now, this magnetic energy is surrounding you, making it easier for you to attract what you truly want in life, especially in the realm of romance. When I mention a new romantic cycle, It's essential to understand that this doesn't always imply a brand new partner. For some of you, it could signify a fresh start with someone from your past or even a renewed connection with someone you're already involved with. The important point 
is that there's a vibrant and invigorating energy entering your romantic sphere. For those who might be looking for love, this could also mean the potential for meeting someone entirely new. You'll know which scenario resonates with you because the one that sparks excitement or enthusiasm will stand out as the romantic cycle I'm referring to. Trust your intuition as you navigate these feelings and experiences. Regardless of the specifics of your situation, this new energy in love is set to bring about a refreshing change that feels entirely different from what you've known before. Even if the person involved is someone you've had a long history with, the energy between you will feel revitalized. It's almost as if the entire dynamic is shifting positively, offering new possibilities and perspectives. Your intuition is keenly aware of this shift, even if your logical mind struggles to comprehend it. You might find it challenging to articulate this experience to others, but you'll undoubtedly sense this new energy coursing through you in every fiber of your being. Now, when we look at the reverse contract card, it becomes clear that this new romantic cycle represents an opportunity for a fresh start, one that is free from the negative patterns that may have hindered you in previous relationships. This idea connects well with some of the moonology cards we've seen, which indicate it's time to release any lingering negativity. There seems to be an undercurrent of subconscious negativity that may be at play. I'm picking up on the concept of self-sabotage, which suggests that there might be old patterns and behaviors that are lurking beneath the surface, ready to be released. If you found yourself falling back into familiar self-sabotaging behaviors, particularly in matters of love or other aspects of your life, you might also be grappling with feelings of self-doubt. These feelings could be intricately linked to your self-confidence and how you perceive your worthiness in relationships. If these patterns are surfacing unexpectedly, it's likely that your spirit guides are nudging you to recognize and address them. The time has come to let go of the remnants of negativity that still linger in your subconscious mind. By acknowledging these patterns and actively working to release them, you open the door to the new romantic energy that's coming your way. Your guides are urging you to shift your focus and adopt a broader perspective on your life and purpose. This means taking a step back and examining the larger picture, which can help you gain insight into your current situation and the direction you're headed. I'm sensing influences from astrological signs like Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Libra. These energies might resonate with someone significant in your life or indicate how their birth chart is affecting your interactions. It's worth noting that the first three cards you've drawn are infused with full moon energy. This suggests that something in your life is reaching its peak or coming to a conclusion. The full moon often symbolizes the culmination of cycles where emotions and insights come to the forefront. Following this, we see the emergence of a new romantic cycle indicated by new moon energy. This transition from full moon to new moon feels significant. It's as if we must process the emotions and energies associated with the full moon to make space for fresh beginnings signified by the new moon. The full moon can highlight any lingering negativity including self-sabotaging patterns that may have been tucked away in your subconscious. You might find that feelings of unworthiness are surfacing for some of you. If this resonates, it's important to understand that these feelings are coming to light so that you can address and ultimately release them. Your guides want you to know that the emergence of these issues is not a setback, but rather an opportunity for healing. It's essential to recognize that confronting these negative patterns directly or criticizing yourself for having them won't help you to let go. Instead, these patterns will begin to dissipate when you start to see the broader context of your life. This means recognizing yourself as a vast spiritual being with a significant purpose rather than getting bogged down by day-to-day -day challenges. 
For those of you looking for a more practical approach to shift these subconscious thoughts, meditation can be a powerful tool. Visualizing your life from a broader perspective can help. Picture yourself in a vibrant, even fantastical vision of your ideal life. Allow yourself to detach from your current reality and immerse yourself in that dreamlike state where you can truly envision who you aspire to be. This process can create a mental and emotional space for new possibilities. I sense that you are on the cusp of some exciting breakthroughs. One card that stands out is the man holding a coin, which appears upright. This indicates that part of your breakthrough may involve witnessing the awakening of divine masculine energy through a personal interaction with a significant male figure in your life. This could be a friend, family member, or even a romantic partner who has been undergoing a quiet transformation. You're likely to see tangible evidence of this person's spiritual growth and increased awareness, making this interaction very real and impactful. This awakening might bring about changes in your relationship with them, as well as provide you with insights into your own journey. The energy surrounding this card indicates stability, abundance, and the potential for new beginnings, not just for the masculine figure, but for you as well. I see an exciting breakthrough on the horizon for you, particularly when it comes to your inner peace. The reversed hostilities card suggests that you're about to experience a deeper sense of harmony throughout your life. This sense of calm and balance is not just external. It originates from within you. The peace you cultivate inside will begin to reflect in various aspects of your life, including your relationships, work environment, financial situation, and community interactions. As you nurture this newfound tranquility, you'll likely notice that your connections with others start to improve. Conflicts may diminish, and you could find yourself engaging in more harmonious and supportive interactions. This inner peace serves as a foundation that allows you to navigate challenges with grace and resilience. In addition, the reverse deceit card indicates that clarity is coming your way. You might receive insights or revelations through conversations or messages from others. This could resonate deeply with your intuition, providing you with sudden flashes of understanding that help you see things from a fresh perspective. Perhaps someone close to you will share their thoughts on a situation that has felt puzzling and their insights will help you piece together the information you've been grappling with. Moreover, the appreciation card appearing in its upright position emphasizes the importance of self-love at this time. Cultivating self-love is essential for accelerating your journey toward fulfillment, both spiritually and materially. Embracing this loving energy within you allows you to radiate unconditional love outward, making you incredibly magnetic to positive experiences and opportunities. When you appreciate and love yourself, you attract similar energies from the universe and from those around you. It's also crucial to recognize the importance of trusting the process. As many of you begin to notice positive shifts and alignments in your life, it's natural for your ego to create feelings of fear or uncertainty. Questions may arise, such as, can I maintain this? How will everything unfold? When will the pieces fall into place? These thoughts are common, but don't let them overshadow your progress. Your guides are encouraging you to maintain faith in this journey. Focus on the positive changes unfolding in your everyday life. Pay attention to how everything seems to be aligning for you in meaningful ways. The more you acknowledge and celebrate these shifts, the more you affirm your belief in the process. Trust that this positive momentum will continue to develop, leading you toward the fulfillment and happiness you seek. Now, let's draw one final card from the Rumi Oracle, Divine Discontent. The guidebook beautifully expresses, winter falls upon us so spring can bring new growth. Cry the tears, allow the longing sadness brings, 
surrender to a deep desire to be free. Rumi says, I know your heart. I hear it breaking and sighing in the quietest moments, even when you think you're just drifting off to sleep. Your sacred heart speaks to me, expressing its deep longing and its feelings of divine discontent. It knows when something feels off. It senses that a piece of the puzzle is missing. You might sense a stirring within you, a subtle yet unmistakable feeling that something in your life is off kilter. This awareness may manifest as an acute realization in your conscious mind or linger as a vague anxiety, like an echo of an unfulfilled desire. This longing is often rooted in the awakening of your heart, a recognition that there is more to life than what you've experienced so far. As you navigate this inner landscape, you may find that the pain of this awakening can feel intense, yet within that hurt lies the seed of transformation, leading you toward a deeper bliss and a profound appreciation for the intricate beauty of creation surrounding you. As your heart expands, it becomes increasingly aware of its passionate yearning for the divine, a yearning that often mirrors the ecstatic touch of a beloved. In this divine romance, the presence of the divine reaches out to you, inviting you to awaken to new possibilities. It calls you to transcend your past values and beliefs. What once seemed precious might now reveal itself as mere fad, shimmering like fool's gold rather than the true treasure you seek. This is an opportunity for reflection. It's a chance to reassess what truly holds value in your life. This growing sense of divine discontent is not a curse, but a gentle nudge from the universe. It is the beginning of your journey, not the end. Embrace this feeling as a guiding light illuminating the path toward your most profound connection with the divine. Allow yourself to be vulnerable to the experiences that arise from this longing. By acknowledging and embracing these feelings, you open yourself to a more authentic existence, one where you can engage with the world around you in a more meaningful way. This journey may lead you through trials and tribulations, but it also promises moments of joy and deep realization. As you navigate this inner journey, remember that every step you take in the direction of your heart's desire is a step toward realizing your true essence. The divine is always reaching out to you, ready to reveal the wisdom and love that await when you fully surrender to the journey of awakening. Embrace this transformative process and let it guide you toward a life filled with love, purpose, and profound connection. If you're finding value in this content, consider showing some support by giving a super thanks. It really helps out the channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more updates. With that, I think it's a lovely place to wrap up today's reading. Thank you all for joining me. I'm sending you so much love. May the rest of your day be beautiful. And I look forward to connecting with you again in the next reading.